Hi, I finished another from the book along list and this is Pearl by Sean Hughes and I liked this one. Um, it, it surprised me, I wasn't sure because I've, I've not had a very good time so far with the book along list, no, that's unfair. I've not enjoyed the books as much as I thought I was going to. I'm not. So, I, I do enjoy reading them, but um, yeah, this surprised me. And it's a book about grief, and I'm beginning to wonder whether that's a theme this time because um, Western Lane was a book about grief, a book about. Um, a, a dead mother. Um, How to Build Your Boat was about a mother that, a, a child growing up without a mother. And this one is about a mother who disappeared. So I'm just wondering whether grief, loss, is, is, go, is a theme this year. Um, our narrator, Marianne, her mother walked out, disappeared when Marianne was eight years old. Um, she walked out leaving Marianne, Jo, who was newborn almost, and um, her husband, Edward. And this book is Marianne's story as she shows us how the loss of her mother affected her as a child, as a growing, as, as, as she grew up as an adult, how it's affected her whole life, how grief doesn't have an end date, it's infinite. And she tells us at, at times how heartbreakingly almost, how grief can suddenly wash over when she's not expecting it and the pain will be as raw as it was when her mother first disappeared. Growing up, Marianne has always been tormented by remembrances. Um, her, the way she remembers her mother singing, her mother's stories, her mother's smell, the way her mother used to read to her. She's tormented by all these remembrances, so much so that she can't, she can no longer distinguish which are real memories and which are memories that she thinks she made up that she thinks she remembers. She can't remember which is real and which is not imagined, but what she thinks happened. And she finds a medieval poem, Pearl, and you don't need to know the poem for the book. Um, I, I did look it up, I did Google it, and it is, um, let me see this, the man in the poem finds consolation in his garden where he's fallen asleep. Um, in, in the garden, he's fallen asleep and in his sleep, he's taken to a river where a beautiful maiden on the opposite bank tells him not to grieve. And Marianne is almost seeking consolation in this poem because for her artwork project at school, she creates attempts to create different parts of this poem to make the whole. Um, and all through the book, there are references to the poem, references to the rhymes that her mother may have sung. Each chapter is prefaced by a little rhyme. And there's a dreamlike quality to this writing at times. And as you read it, Marianne's understanding of her mother and what happened to her mother and our understanding of what happened to Marianne's mother, we, we, we understand more and more as we read on. Her father, Edward, I adored. I thought he was super. And I think in a way I felt more for him than I did Marianne. But this is a lovely read and I think it will sneak into the short, into the short list. Um, out of the books I've read so far, this is number three. This this comes, uh, at the, at, from what I've read so far, I've got The House of Doors, Old God's Time, and now this. Um, 
the the big hitters I haven't got to yet that my library still hasn't haven't delivered them um in ascension um the paul harding one the other eden and um the bee sting i think that's the one those three because i think they're quite chunky novels my library hasn't delivered them to me yet so i've still got to read those but out of the ones i've read, <coughs> read so far this is this is my third so um third place rather so um i've got the prophet's song being delivered today so i'll be reading that one shortly so i will um catch you later so happy reading take care